the IMF is at it again. And today I am talking about what they're saying about Iceland. They are saying Iceland is a big risk right now. They're talking about the housing market specifically. In Canada, where I live, the housing market is at all-time highs right now. The prices are so astronomical. In fact, it is one of the most expensive in the entire world. So this is what we're dealing with right now. You have low interest rates that is just fueling a bubble that people are unwilling to recognize. Let me go into this. IMF says Iceland's debt relief risks housing fund. And they're talking about Iceland proposing a new scheme and it's going to be detrimental to the housing fund, uh, the Nordic credit, and basically the whole economy. I'm not really interested in particularly what's going to happen there, but I have something to mention about this and how this is simply a reoccurring theme that I'm able to point out and bring to you and I'm sure you will know this reoccurring theme as well. So let's look at this together. And if I forward down in the article, it's talking about that the IMF is conducting stress tests and they're saying, are these banks really capable of handling such trauma? This reminds me of a previous instance only a few years ago where they were performing the stress tests and they were saying, don't worry about it. The housing market has suffered a bit of losses. Have no fear. Everything is OK. And this was, you know, 2005 and 2006. They started getting a little more concerned. And then in 2007, when the actual crash started to really begin, not in 2008, as they like to claim, in 2007, you had this problem of the really garbage mortgages, and they were basically polluting the whole system. And of course, it goes a lot deeper than that. But let's just look at it in this one-dimensional view. Fitch says confident in the AAA subprime ratings. This is in 2007, in July, after they already technically were underway the crash was underway at this point and they're saying don't worry we're going to give this a triple a rating why did they give it a triple a rating because it's the worst piece of garbage available it's this upside down world it's an orwellian nightmare that we're living in right now people don't realize the real effects see these there's these money managers that i speak to there's these people in the marketing, people all over in the finance industry, and they're talking about AAA ratings. They're talking at Dow Jones at 16,000, and they're saying everything is just fine. Well, I have a news flash for these individuals. Everything is not fine. Just because you put lipstick, lipstick on that pig doesn't mean it's still not a pig. Do you see where I'm getting with that? They are saying that it's a triple A rating. The IMF is saying, oh, you're dangerous. Or, oh, no, 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 the U.S. is not dangerous. They're all in it. Basically, they're all in this game here, and they're all attached by globalization, by all these treaties. When one falls, the rest of the dominoes will fall. One will hit that trigger point, and they will all continue around the world. Some will be hit harder than others, undoubtedly, but they are all connected. So if you have a quadrillion dollar derivative scheme, why wouldn't you think that this would affect the whole world when they're all of the markets are connected? That's how this works. Let me go just into one thing here. I talked about this in my book. I said specifically many, many times that the market is completely manipulated. None of the prices matter. Nothing makes sense anymore. And I'll go beyond that, beyond what I even said in my book. And I will say that the media exists specifically and I'm talking about the mainstream media, exists specifically as a propaganda arm for the criminal entities that exist above the government. 
that's how far I'm willing to go with this now. Now that I've been researching for so many years, looking deeper and deeper and deeper into this, willing to peel back so many layers of the onion, I'm willing to go as deep as it takes. And I'm finding not only do they obscure the information, do they manipulate the information, but this goes a lot deeper than that. In fact, they are specifically created and used as a propaganda arm for these criminal entities. What I want to get to is specifically that do not be afraid to take your money out of this system. People have a lot of fear in taking their money out because they've invested everything they have in. Don't be afraid of taking your money out of the system, taking charge of your life, taking charge of your wealth and your family and doing what it takes to protect that wealth. That's something that I promote daily and all the time. Don't worry about these real estate prices and, you know, they're astronomical now. Are they low tomorrow? Get yourself into something real. Get your money out of the system into something real. That's my message. I hope you like this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to these if you haven't already. Head down below. There's a lot of things that you need to check out that I've brought to the world as my, my service to the community. So I will talk to you very soon and hopefully we can connect at a later date.